This is Professor Darif Seitz. This tutorial shows how to create, compile, and run a simple Java program using the TextPad editor. I've already used TextPad to create the Java source file. I'll right click on it and open it up in TextPad. It's a very trivial program. All Java programs have a class. This class is called Simple Program. And inside the class, the class goes all the way through the ending brace down there. It has an opening brace and a closing brace. Inside there is one method, also known as a function, main, which has two statements within its opening and closing brace a statement to print to the command prompt, the console. This is a simple progr Java program statement. And then to exit. I've already configured TextPad to know about Java. You first install the Java development kit. And then in TextPad you go to configure preferences tools and you can add these three tools to compile Java, to run a Java application, and to run a Java applet. You have to do it in that order. Install the JDK first and then configure TextPad. When I want to use these tools, I use the Tools menu, <coughs> External Tools, and there they are. And they have hotkeys, Control 1, Control 2, and Control 3. I'll be creating a simple application, not an applet. So control 1 and control 2. By the way, some people will take this method and every single method in the class and indent them like that. I like when I'm in a class to start out everything at the first level not indented and then indent from there as you see these two lines are indented. That way I don't waste an indent level unnecessarily. Before I compile this program, I'm going to introduce some syntax errors. I'm first going to delete the closing quote on this text here. This, this is a simple Java program. In Java, uh, text literal is called a string. We're going to save this and then Control-1 and we see four errors. The, at the top is the first error, line 8, unclosed string literal. Ignore all the errors that follow the first error when you're using TextPad because as soon as the compiler finds something wrong, it doesn't really know how to deal with things from there and gets other errors that are caused by the first error. So we'll go and fix that. We'll introduce another error. Exit, we'll put two X's in there. Try to compile it, Control-1. And it tells us here, see the little hat arrow there pointing at where the error is? It says, cannot find symbol. And the symbol it cannot find is this exit thing. So we'll fix that. And save it, compile it, Control-1 success this time. If we look at the folder, we'll see now there's a simple program.class file. That's the Java bytecode file that the Java virtual machine will actually run. To run it, we'll do control 2. We see the program output. This is a simple Java program. And then there's a statement that just says press any key to continue. That's so you can see the output without it just flashing and disappearing. So we can either hit enter or just close this window. And we've now finished creating, compiling, and running a simple Java program using the TextPad editor.